guys, it's Krista. One last video for the year. Um, I just uh, finished um, Betrayal by Cynthia Leitich Smith. Um, so, I decided that this next coming year I should probably um, broaden my view on some things. For example, I'm trying not to be so straight uh, dismissive of uh, zombies and angels. Um, so I've decided that I, I'm going to read more books with zombies and angels to try to make a more educated decision on my feelings about those subjects. So. This book I thought was going to be another uh, fallen angel story, and it it just completely surprised me. I got it from the library. I didn't read the synopsis on this one. I just saw the feather on the front and picked it up and just started reading. So uh, I don't plan on giving any spoilers away. Um, what I'm going to talk about happens like in the first three to five chapters maybe that get the story going. So, um, the first chapter we see a uh, guardian angel and he is watching over a girl. He loves her. He's dedicated to her. He lives for her, you know, and um, right away he sees that she is covered with um, a shadow. Um, so, which means that she's going to die soon. So, him being a guardian angel becomes a little bit overprotective. And one night when her and her friend are at a cemetery, her friend had decided that she wanted to explore and go out and live a little. So they invited a um, boy to meet them at the cemetery. And while they were there, um, Zachary, the guardian angel, shows himself I forgot her, the main character's name. I want to say Miranda, but I'm not sure. This isn't that bad. I'm so unprepared. Um, but anyway, he shows himself to her um, when he thinks that she's in danger. And uh, that's a big no-no in the angel world. So Michael, the archangel, comes down. Archangel? I don't know. Comes down and strips him of his wings and says that you are going to be punished and so is she. So they both get punished because of his actions. And uh, she's taken away from him. He's stripped of his wings and she is taken away um, by a vampire. So my favorite, favorite thing in the world makes an appearance here with vampires. She ends up becoming, becomes like a princess vampire and uh, she's spoiled. She lives in a mansion. People look up to her. And, you know, she's uh, kind of got the life she's always dreamed of. She's never had that much attention. So she has to, her father teaches her how to talk and act and dress and uh, have parties and all of this stuff. And um, uh, then just fun stuff happens on how to fix their situation that they've gotten into. So this was a surprisingly uh, entertaining read. I wouldn't say it's like a, um, too like in depth or detailed or anything like that. You know, it was a light, fun, entertaining read. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, it, like I said, it kind of just surprised me. So it was a welcome read for the last day for me for 2010. I'm glad I picked it up, and I will probably be reading her next book that comes out. She has written. A lot of books. I don't know how many. But um, she's coming out with another book at the end of January called Betrayal. I don't think it's a sequel or anything. I just, because uh, it has different characters in it. So I'm really excited to read more of her stuff. So I'm glad I came across her. And I really don't know what else to say about this book, but it was fun. I wouldn't say it was full of adventure and a whole bunch of drama and things happening because there were a lot of learning periods with the. Um, the whole vampire thing. So there were some slow parts, but um, 
you know, it was a quick, it was a quick read anyway. So, uh, definitely if you are interested in fallen angels or vampires, a little bit of paranormal with a little bit of eternal, I don't know what to call that anyway. So anyway, that's my last video for today and, um, happy new years and I'll see you guys next year. Bye. Happy reading.